Welcome to High Value Performance. The key fundamental factor if you want to be the best player or one of the best players is you got to think like them. You got to train like them, think like them, act like them. And one big factor of their play is they are focused on results. Now, a lot of players are hardworking, but the one that always springs to mind is someone like Ronaldo. And he springs to mind because his hard work brought results. There are plenty of players who worked hard, no one cares about because they didn't get the results he got. So what's the key factor in that? Leave the hard work out. The key factor is he got results. So his hard work was justified through something. Now with me, I worked hard before. I played for a team. I was the hardest worker in training, trained on my own, diet in check, all of that stuff, recovery, everything. I only played three games and I came off the bench. Now when I played, I played pretty well, but I didn't get the results they wanted, which means I didn't get the opportunities that I wanted. You see, if you can get the results that clubs want, coaches want, you will get the opportunities you want and then it becomes an even exchange. Now, in order to build results, you have to work on specific things on your own, which comes from understanding yourself as a player, understanding your weaknesses, understanding your strengths, with the, in addition to the or in relation to the five factors of performance, which is your technical, tactical, conditioning, social, and mental. You need to understand your strengths and weaknesses in relation to those five points. So if you're looking at technical, like for example, your aerial control, your ball striking, your ball mastery, what are you strong at, what are you weak at? And list it down and understand it so that you know that, for example, in your team session, let's say you're weak in terms of your coordination, Use your warm-up as a means of improvement so that at least you know going into the session I've got a result already, I've got a win. I know that I'm improving my coordination because a lot of younger players especially after they go through their growth spurt they struggle from the coordination side of things because they, they lose a lot of that as they get taller or as they get wider and, and stronger and bigger so it's something you can improve on Get that win early on and prime yourself for the session ahead to get more improvement so that's the one thing when you are doing your individual training for example your individual training needs to be built on improvement and pressure okay, so for from an individual training perspective you have to be able to train for technique but also training your technique under pressure because if you want to be able to bring results you have to perform under pressure. That's the one key aspect. All of the best players can, can do that. They can play under pressure and perform and get results under pressure. So you need to train yourself for that. So how do you train yourself under pressure? Well, it's simple. What you got to do is set targets for yourself. So when you're looking at it, like let's say you're doing a shooting drill and you have 10 shots only, only 10 shots your target should be for example getting six out of ten and if you don't get six you failed there's no more tries to try and get more once you have ten you've only got ten tries once those ten tries are done it's either you passed or you failed because that represents how a game situation is when you throw on goal in a game and it's the game winning chance if you miss it it's over your team will either lose the game or not get the result they want either if you're looking at it like a draw so you need to train yourself for that moment so that if you in that situation you score it so the only way to do that is to train under pressure from your own individual training adding a sense of i can win or i can lose and if you lose it's either you punish yourself or if you're not really that type of, of uh, person and you're more like me the loss is the punishment enough so you understand that okay i've lost that's the punishment so next time i can't lose if you build it like that you will be able to play and perform under pressure and 
also in terms of your team training you have to understand your own strengths and weaknesses like i mentioned before but also taking that into a team training situation so let's say you're doing a rondo a lot of players look at a rondo as just fun and casual and all of that but you need to look at it like fun casual but also setting targets for yourself to improve because that will add even more pressure and it'll help you perform under pressure you must hit those targets okay for me personally i want to get at least five passes now if the ball doesn't come to you just count however many passes you've got and take it from there but ideally have a set figure in your head like i want at least five passes under pressure to perform to be able to get those passes right to be able to just add a sense of a challenge to it so for example i'll use my weak foot only i'll improve that certain factor of my game because if you can do this you'll be able to perform under pressure and you'll be able to improve even faster and get better results because that's the name of the game without results you're useless in fact to teams because if you don't bring what the team wants you don't do your job specifically to the highest level you can do it you're useless and if you're useless you'll either be on the bench as a periphery figure or you'll just be out the team completely and all you can do is just support it as best you can which honestly no good footballer wants to be in that situation so you need to train yourself to never be in that situation by bringing results but it comes from mindset how you perform and all that can come through improvement in your own training your own training needs to plug that gap that you don't get from team training and the one thing players improve on a lot is their technique but they never test themselves to perform that technique under pressure which is something you must do from now on because if you can do that and succeed pressure is like a muscle the more you train playing under pressure the better you become under it the more stress you can take the better you perform under that stressful situation so you need to train for it and if you can do this you will improve tenfold and become one of the best players in your team and then slowly rise up and become better as you start performing more and getting more results